Jeezy has been on a crazy press run since he dropped his album, I May Forgive, But I Don't Forget. He recently sat down with Nia Long and talked about damn near everything, but didn't tell us anything. The thing we most wanted to know about was his divorce from Jeannie Mai, but he breezed by that so fast it's like he didn't even talk about it. One thing he did talk about, surprisingly, was his relationship with his mom. Aww. It seems like he didn't have the best relationship with her. She passed, and he feels as though he didn't send her off the best way he could. Next up was Jeezy's sit-down with host Rashad Bilal and Troy Millings on Revolt's Assets Over Liabilities show. This interview was another blockbuster of boring. Don't get me wrong, I love Jeezy, but he isn't the most open person. He skimmed through his trials and tribulations again but nothing too specific. This interview, and the one with Nia Long both will keep you engaged because you will be looking for him to open up, but don't expect it. Finally, Jeezy's ex-valet or whatever he was, Clemenza, yeah that's his name, had an interview with Adam22 on No Jumper, that was more exciting than both of Jeezy's prior ones. This guy, who looks like Cleveland Brown from Family Guy, goes on an hour and a half rant about how Jeezy wronged him. This has to be the saddest thing I've seen. A 40-year-old man stuck in 2005 talking about the good old days. Clem, as he calls himself, talks about how he did this for Jeezy and that for Jeezy, but doesn't realize that Jeezy outgrew him. It's sad. Anywho, watch all three interviews they will give you something to do for a few hours. That's all I got for you. See you on the next one.